um, uh, ready for us. And I hear the next message is coming in. The next situation is a slow vehicle, um, speed slower than 60 kilometers per hour. And how does this happen? Uh, apart from the mere message, I am a vehicle, it sends position and speed of this slow vehicle. Now, what does that result in? It is an obstacle. Traffic on the right lane must um, decelerate, uh, must um, pass the slow vehicle, um, veer out and veer back in. And that's our, what our highway pilot has registered, and it, that's what it will do now. Now, Hans says, um, OK, highway pilot, um, I will go back into the control position and take over the steering wheel. Is the highway pilot completely turned off in that event? No. It is just a short overtaking um, process. And it, uh, the driver can reactivate the system within no time and highway pilot will take con uh, take over control again and no matter whether he steps on the brake accelerates um, so the driver can always override the highway pilot system which is important yes the driver can override the system at any time as it is with um, all of the other assistance system, just like the cruise control in your passenger car. The highway pilot just takes over monotonous, stressful um, operations and maneuvers in the car and um, helps him to do his job in a relaxed way. That is what makes truck driving hard, uh, the pressure and uh, the monotony. How do we manage that uh, only messages arrive at the highway pilot that I will really need? For example, a 500 kilometer away uh, jam doesn't interest in me. Yeah, um, the range of these messages only comprise a, a, a distance of 500 meters. Um, vehicles inform each other uh, about their position. But it is important that these messages are uh, protected against abuse, that they are certified, and that they will use in adverse weather, weather conditions. What about the uh, communication between the truck and my vehicle and the environment? Our vehicle communicates in such a way that the driver doesn't even notice it. Well, but what does it look like? Um, it clocks always information on its own motion and the motion of other vehicles, other trucks and other vehicles, and there's going to be a real-time communication between all networked um, vehicles about um, traffic congestions and no uh, traffic radio can do that, even the most accurate one. Now, of course, they transfer also all this information, and it's, it's almost sounds like Twitter for vehicles. You could say that. Um, the vehicle autonomously uh, adapt to the situation and um, improve the traffic flow and uh, decrease the traffic density. Even if traffic, uh, even if Daimler is, uh, has leadership in this technology, the technology um, can create bottlenecks. And uh, I think the future truck 2025 will um, make a major contribution uh, towards that. We already mentioned the driver can Skype, he can delegate orders, he can, well, he can do anything uh, when he doesn't need to pay attention to the traffic. He can do invoicing, process the next order. Uh, so he doesn't have to do it at a later time. He also can um, reserve a parking space at the rest stop, uh, order his uh, food, and um Oh, well, uh, my favorite food would be a currywurst. 
Um, will the information also provide information on the best restaurant? Usually drivers, since they're on the road for quite a while, know where the best restaurants are. And if not, uh, the colleagues will tell them. But through the internet, they could download the menu, order the food, and also um, reserve a shower. They're usually all crowded. I just saw that <laughs> our driver just ordered a large um, hot dog. Now let's see what, an, what the new message is. It's a new order. It's a tour uh, to Salzburg. Uh, scheduling is sent a message that um, the driver has to pick up a cool liner, and he offers him a, a note to download an app. So um, this app is integrated in the Highway Pilot. Yes, it is. Per remote access, the uh, driver can access to the um, cool liner and see if the cooling chain is um, observed. Temperature in a cool liner is ex especially important and it must be pre cooled. And per remote access, the driver can check that. And if uh, the requirements are not met, and um, can make changes from the truck, from the cab. What other scenarios are there? We have already talked about network services, such as Fleetboard. This telematic-based internet service is the basis for the um, maintenance management and telediagnosis. Availability is everything for our customers. The trucks need to run. They need to be able to generate um, added value. Uh, therefore, it is important that the truck is uh, well maintained and uh, available. If such a uh, truck uh, breaks down at a Mercedes truck, it may happen. Um, we need to have a connection to the um, truck and send information what spare parts uh, need to be um, provided to um, repair the truck and the truck can drive again. Time is money, especially for um, the forwarding company. Now the system is telling me the rest stop uh, parking space is reserved. Um, now what happens here is shortly before the arrival at the rest stop, the um, calculated arrival time is displayed. The parking space number is also displayed also with the exact coordinates and especially for the last mile navigation so uh, the truck can find its parking space in with an accuracy of centimeters even at night so the truck is guided uh, to the parking space, uh, the, cur uh, the, the hot dog is prepared, and um, the shower is ready. And just think of that. Um, if a trucker um, approaches a rest stop uh, at night, uh, it's usually chaos. Well, let's boil it down to uh, a core message. Seri series, near series, um, networked assistance systems on the highest level, that translates into the uh, autonomously driving future truck 2025. But that is also true for cost efficiency. Right. Um, Autonomous driving um, creates a much more homogeneous traffic flow and reduces fuel consumption by a minimum 5%. It also means less wear and less emissions. And what I really like about uh, this new system is uh, it changes so much for the driver. Yes, especially for the day-to-day -day burden. And those of you who have experience with the forwarding business, five days a week, eight hours driving in the car. Usually the uh, leisure time is spent uh, with a truck. And this new system um, cuts down 
on monotonous and stressful activities in the truck. But that only, uh, doesn't only help uh, the driver, but also the forwarding company, because the driver is more relaxed, um, is less stressed, and uh, drives more safely. This opened up, opens up a new era. Uh, everything is much easier to calculate, more efficient, and it may be uh, a big word, but we, I think autonomous driving will actually revolutionize um, the forwarding business and truck driving. Here it is, the future in long distance um, haulage, future truck 2025. Mr. Enos, thank you very much. It was a lot of fun, a lot of information. Um, head of development, Daimler Trucks, Mr. Enos. Now, I will ask Hans, how was the autonomous driving? <laughs> really relaxing and cool. I think we can tell. Wasn't it a strange feeling to uh, not use the accelerator and the brake and the steering wheel? Only at the beginning. Um, you get used to this new system really quickly and you feel safe, you feel comfortable. Just like at home. So, I know that there's not a rest stop here, it's still under construction. But we would like you to come here and we will change drivers. And you, we will, uh, we may show you get your hot dog and everyone will be happy to see you in full size.